It's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make apple turnovers. This is the simplest dessert. We're using a store-bought puff pastry and you can totally make these ahead, put them in the fridge or the freezer and they bake up beautifully. So let's get started. I have two sheets or one pound of frozen puff pastry dough. Thaw that according to the package instructions while you make your apple filling. For the filling, you'll need one and a quarter pounds or three medium Granny Smith apples. Peel the apples and remove the cores. I like to use my little melon baller to remove the centers and I'll link to this in the notes, but you can also use an apple corer if you have one. You wanna dice the apples into one third inch thick pieces. The easiest way to dice is to use a food chopper, and this one's our favorite. We use it for tons of salads and recipes, and of course, I'll link to this in the notes. Those are all diced up. Place a pot over medium heat and melt in one tablespoon of butter. Add the diced apples and cook, stirring occasionally until they're softened, or about five minutes. Next, stir in 1 4th cup of lightly packed brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Continue to simmer for about three minutes or until the apples are soft and caramelized. Then take them off the heat and set aside to cool. And it's so tempting to eat the apples at this point, but resist the urge. Lightly dust your work surface with flour and unfold your first pastry sheet. And I'm using my favorite rolling pin to roll the sheet into an 11 inch square. Cut the pastry into four equal sized squares using a pizza cutter because it's so easy. Then add a heaping tablespoon or one eighth of the cooled apple mixture over the center of each square, making sure you keep a half inch border at the edges. You don't want any of that filling touching the edges or it will be difficult to seal. For the egg wash, beat together one egg and a tablespoon of water, then brush the edges lightly with a pastry brush. Bring the two edges together, lightly pinching to seal, then use a fork to go all around the edges of the pastry, pressing down firmly. Cut three slits in the top to create vents. Repeat the process with the remaining pastries and transfer them to a parchment lined baking sheet. Now on to round two, repeat the same process with the second sheet of pastry dough. Once all of your apple turnovers are formed, transfer them to the baking sheet and we're gonna refrigerate that for about 20 minutes. I found that refrigerating it keeps the juices from leaking out when they're baking. Meanwhile, we're preheating the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Just before baking, brush the tops with the remaining egg wash. Then bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 23 minutes on the center rack or until the tops are puffed and golden. Take them out of the oven and let them cool slightly while you make the glaze. And these smell and look amazing and it's tempting not to eat them right away. The glaze doesn't get any easier. Combine half a cup of powdered sugar with one to two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, adding the cream until you've reached your desired consistency. Generously drizzle that glaze over the turnovers while they're still warm. Right, we want to get every last drop. This glaze is really good. Yum, yum. These totally look like they just came out of a bakery and I cannot wait for this taste test. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. And let's go for the biggest, fluffiest one. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I wanna show you what's inside because oh, these are just irresistible and loaded with that cinnamon apple mixture. It's gonna get messy. 
Oh, <laughs> yum. Oh my goodness, cinnamon apples. Buttery cinnamon apples. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Mm. This tastes like a bakery quality pastry, but it was really, really simple to make. I love those flaky layers on the crust. Oh my goodness. And then don't skip the glaze because the pastry itself isn't sweet. So just that little bit of sweetness on top is perfect. Oh, these are so good. <laughs> oh, and I have a line of kids waiting for these, so I gotta wrap things up quick because, oh my goodness, these are hard to resist. And they're also really good the next day. They keep well. Love these, such a treat. And they taste like autumn. Now this is for all the people who have said, some people have said that I don't actually eat my food, that I just take a bite and I leave. That's what I call fake news. This is for you. It's just so good. Oh look, another half. Mm. Hey, if you guys are in the mood for some yummy fall baking, check out some of our most popular autumn recipes right over there and don't miss that one right down there. And make sure you click below to subscribe and when you do, click that little bell icon, bing! And you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe.